that was early enough in the um, evolution of society in Indianapolis that it did not have sewers or anything when they moved there. So they had an outhouse. Oh, wow. And my dad said that the outhouse faced a direction that allowed the door of it to get caught by the wind. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> so you're sitting there doing your business, and all of a sudden, whoosh, door goes whipping open, and there you are. Hello. In all your glory. When they ran the sewers, their first in-home toilet was in the basement. And so we're going through potty training with Carly at the time, and my grandmother is telling this story to her while she's <laughs> sitting on the toilet <laughs> Um, learning that that's where you're supposed to sit and go and not in your pants. That's good information. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> where you should go. <laughs> We're making good headway on the potty training. And my grandmother is talking about their first toilet being in the basement. And she turns on the basement light and goes down and hears this water running sound. Mm-hmm which can only be coming from the toilet because that's really the only water going right. on down there. And she lifts the lid to find a rat swimming around in the <laughs> toilet, <laughs> which really... Doing the backstroke? Yeah, which put a hold on the potty training for two years. She was going to kindergarten. Traumatized. So <laughs> weird, I mean, like called it the potty monster. No, not gonna happen. So junior PTSD completely. Where did you think in the book of parenting that it would be a good idea to talk about a rat swimming around in the toilet to a kid who's just learning about the toilet? Where was that a good idea? They took that page out. <laughs> yeah.